another reason why you may argue is because you're actually baited into an argument. <laughs> you may not have even seen it coming and someone actually baits you into an argument. I know someone who baits people into an argument through asking a lot of questions. They ask questions. The reason why they ask questions is because they want dialogue. <laughs> they want dialogue. So they're constantly asking questions, but they're just bait. Like that, this person does not ask questions for communication, for an exchange that will lead to um, better engagement. Not at all. This person is asking questions that are really hidden statements to put their point you know, at the forefront. And so they're baiting you because they're saying, okay, if you don't answer my question, you're rude. But then when you answer my question, I got you. Because I'm asking a question that really is going to benefit my point, my ego-driven point, okay? So sometimes you're just baited and you have to be alert. The book of Ephesians said we have to be alert, okay? And realize, ooh, that's a bait. Oh, I won't be answering that question. I'm sorry. I feel like I probably won't answer that question appropriately. I won't do justice to answering that question. So that's not something I'm going to be able to do. Okay? That's how you want to handle something like that. Uh, because you will get baited. I use the person who asks a lot of questions to bait people into arguments. But um, it could be any other example of being baited into an argument. Okay? Bringing up something ancient from the past in a relationship. That's another bait. Okay. People know how to trigger you. Okay. They know if they've been around you. And unfortunately the people we argue with most are the people who are closest to us. And those people know a lot of times your triggers. All right. Or they think they do. Actually, I had that not too long ago. Somebody says something to me that they thought was a trigger, but it's so old. Like it's so old. <laughs> so I'm just like, you know, and I could feel their frustration that it wasn't working, um, which was a great moment for me because I wasn't baited and um, it was actually entertaining to see them use it over and over again. Like, maybe she didn't hear me. Let me say that again. <laughs> I'm just like, oh boy, boy, I tell you, like, these are some of the reasons why we fall into arguments. You know, you have your feelings hurt. You're baited. Um, another reason why we fall into arguments is because somebody's really just not telling the truth. And you're trying to um, get them to state in that moment that they're not telling the truth. That's not going to happen. They're not telling the truth for a reason. <laughs> they're not going to just all of a sudden confess no matter what you say. I mean, you can try maybe one time, but after that, let it go. They are not telling the truth for a reason. So all you're going to do is get yourself all flustered. You know that person's not telling the truth. Most likely they know they're not telling the truth. If they don't know they're not telling the truth, then they have a psychological problem and you're not qualified to handle that. <laughs> That's what I said to myself recently. I was, um, um, thinking about something that happened not too long ago and I said, you know what? I have to realize I'm not qualified to handle that person's head case. Like that, that's, I, that's, that's beyond me. It really is. And that's a freeing thing. Let that go. And when you let that go, you will let the arguing go. Okay. So what can we do though? Okay. We know now some of the reasons why we argue her feelings, being baited. What was the last thing I said? Her feelings, being baited, um, trying to disprove something or prove something, whether that you're trying to prove that the person is lying or trying to prove that you're being honest, trying to approve or disprove. These are reasons why we get into arguments in the first place. But what can we do to not argue? That's the key. You know, that's what we need to do to to have peace, to be lights in this world, to have the light within us that we can shine everywhere we go, okay? What can we do?